Oh, did I overload? Ah, he was stuck in my animation. Not smart. Splat. Handy. Oh no, what? This was not progress. This was just another... Really? This was just another, uh... Treasure room. Really? What the heck? Then have I missed a door somewhere? I don't remember... I don't remember where there was another, uh... Door to use a key card with. Oh no. What the heck? Okay. We're gonna have to kind of navigate this level again, I, I fear, because I don't... I don't remember where there was a door to uh, interact with. There's the next cube we need to get to, but how we get to that is... Certainly a question. But I feel like the fact that we came all the way back up here, like, we open up the shortcut, means that there probably is something we gotta do up here, especially since we've been encountering these doors. But embarrassingly, I'm gonna have to... Ah, stuck, always stuck in my animation. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, kind of replay this level a little bit, unfortunately. I just don't remember where there were any other doors, except for those two. This was just a room with a generator we blew up. And this is actually links up, like we can run right back over there. Let's do, let's do that, actually. Let's go over here, just heal up, and then go back there. Or do I need to go back and have a look around over there? Did I miss something? While we were goofing around down there. I, I, mm. Game's throwing me for a loop here. It's gonna blow! That wasn't very dramatic at all. Yeah, you're done. Ah! Okay, I kind of rolled out of it that time, but it didn't help me a ton. It's gonna blow again! Ooh! -ah. Okay, there was just a treasure room and a locked door over there, so... This goes up to... Mm, I don't want to fight that entire room with all those guys, so let's actually backtrack a little bit. Um... Hmm. Man, I was so sure that one of these two locked doors was going to be progress, but it was just treasure. More treasure. Oh, no, wait, hold on. No, this... Well, no, actually, yeah, no, because if I go here and I run over here, this is the bottom. This is underneath the, that room with all those guys. I really don't remember there being, like, uh... Don't remember there being like a door up there in the room with all those explosives, so. Ah! Oh no. I may have just been KO'd. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> and, oh gosh, oh no. By the way, boy, do I never remember to use a regular guard, right? I always go for the soul thing. Don't mind me. I'm gonna have just a just quick run around here, have a look see. Hey there, everybody. Yeah, no. Don't see any of here. Any doors. <laughs> Everyone's having a good time up there. Here we are back down here. So no doors here either. And that goes into the submarine bay, which had... Ready to try again? 
And that submarine bay just had a bunch of, like, doors and stuff. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! That was more of a drop than I anticipated. In fact, this just leads to the submarine bay as well, so... So... What the heck, everybody? What the heck? Okay, what am I missing here? Have I missed, like, an obvious ladder somewhere? But we just had a runaround through everything, right? Ah, oh, man, now... Now I'm once again just... Never mind, my, my, my praise for the non-linearity is now vanishing again, because now I'm just like... Uh, I'll check it out. Now I'm just like, where even are we supposed to go in this... Nonsense world? Hey, we got ninja maxed out, so yeah. That's done. Alright, changed a little bit of gear there. Worm Greaves. Oh wow, this changed dramatically the look here. The dauntless look. And this one's now full brave. A full set. Oh, but except the hat is the red hat. I don't even know what the brave hat would be. Don't really want to know because that red hat fits this costume super well. Oh, what a confounding level. I don't want to have to, like, look up where I'm supposed to go. Better not forget where it is. Huh, hmm. Because this was just a treasure room, and so was the room back there. There's no doors there. It's the ladder we came through. The level design is pretty cool, like you're able to see this entire, like, um, you know... Massive, just, like... Facility here, like the entire thing you're supposed to be, like, navigating here. I, I do dig that. I don't dig this feeling of what the heck... Right now. I feel like the path should be fairly obvious, you know. Once you get to this point, so that's why this is, like, really messing with me. Hmm. What was this level called? Sunken Shrine. Ah, uh, I think... This might be very impatient of me, but I think I will... I'm gonna have to Google what the heck I'm supposed to do. Like, I, I remember that one time we were stuck in the side mission in the Crystal Mirage. I did eventually figure it out that the, the item I got was like a key to access it, but... Uh... Duh, 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 duh. But uh... right now, no, no, drawing a pretty heavy blank. What the trick could be here then? That goes back down there. Uh, let's... Uh, I have to scroll this guide here. This is the IGN guide that I found now. Oh, this is gonna be really hard to figure out, actually. Dock of the Planet Woes was... Right, that's where we... That was the name of the... Doc, yeah. All right, I got the white key card. I'm reading this now. Reactor cistern was where we fought the big Marlboro, and we got the black card key. Yeah, this okay. Past the door, uh, multiple area, right? Okay, the 
the water pit we fought. Mm. All right, now we're getting about to where where we left off. On top, you'll be in a closed-off area of... Oh, what? Hold on. Apparently, there was supposed to be a cactuar somewhere. Take the ladder on your left first. Ignore this. Wait, hold on. Now I'm lost. Now I'm reading this and, like, I must have missed something. Was there a door in the... Okay. So my mistake, apparently, my impatience was that I didn't go explore the uh, the pathways in the submarine base. Apparently, I may have missed a door there. Oh, jeez. So sorry, everybody. I, but for some reason, my brain was like, well, I explored that area entirely, so no need to go check that. Even though the whole point here was that... Oh, this... Wow, okay, never mind. Like, I... This door was hard to spot. No. Uh -huh. Alright, it was a cool new Suzaku Muramasa. That was a... Just... Ah, uh, this... This door is apparently is progress. Okay. So the game flipped and threw me around by, like... Letting me access that part over there. Okay, my bad. Where does this go, then? Since I'm sure we're supposed to be descending. In fact, that kind of looks like a... You know, that could be a very good boss arena down there. Since we're supposed to be descending, I imagine this is optional, this side area. Oh my god, I've become so numb. Fantastic, all that work to find out where to go, and I just get insta-killed by a Tonberry. Okay, well, no, I mean, now we know. Now we know where to go, so it should be fine. Just go on this away. This freaking Tonberry messing me up here. Um, this is totally the wrong way. I was supposed to grab the... Wow. Look at that confidence. I'm like, well, now we know where to go. And I immediately go the wrong way. Wow. <laughs> I'm just being humiliated today. Well, it does say this is the path to humility. So apparently I am being putting through the ropes here. With regards to that... Ah, it's fine. Mm, did we come in here? No, I ran the other. Wow. Okay, this is a this is a serious maze. This level. Now that I'm really in the weeds. Good variety on areas though, like these submarine docks and like. like computer rooms and everything, like, they're doing a good job, like, mixing it up, this level design. Oh, jeez. What? I'm starting to get a little tilted here, everybody. Not gonna lie, that wasn't very funny anymore. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Uh, what even happened that time? Just everybody's grudge just insta got me because I timed my soul or I aimed it bad or what the heck? Okay. Anyway, fighting that Tonberry along with a Pisco Daemon. Looking pretty bad. Oh! Oh, I should mention about the Pisco Daemon. I, I was confused last time since I was like, wow, that's not a Dungeons and Dragons enemy. That's a Pathfinder enemy by, uh, by, um, uh, Paizo, who makes the alternate uh, to Dungeons and Dragons. And I was like, huh, they're taking that name then? But then, first of all, I looked it up, and it's their super is a Pisco Daemon already in uh, Final Fantasy XII. So they used that it's name that long ago. Which also made me go like, huh, because that's before Pathfinder RPG, I'm pretty sure. I th I'm pretty sure that's like... That's like after... Uh, you know, that though before Pathfinder RPG ever came out! Oh! So then, I, indeed, I looked it up and it looks like I found one source implying that a Pisco Daemon is actually already a uh, Dungeons & Dragons monster. 
like, oh, okay, it looked like it was maybe like from a Fiend Folio or one of these like AD&D books. Just, you know, eyeballing the art that I found of this like old ass Pisco Damon design. And that makes me a little like, huh, because what does that mean for Pathfinder? If you folks don't know, because of the, um, because of the OGL brouhaha, which I won't get into too much, but basically Dungeons and Dragons got very sticky with its licensing and like, uh, you know, Wizards of the Coast got like really bad about its licensing and um, it's threatening, it, it, it threatened the livelihood of like a lot of like RPGs that use the license, the OGL that Dungeons and Dragons created, including Pathfinder. Pathfinder has announced that it is, um, or Paizo has announced, Pathfinder has announced that it is, in fact, uh, ma doing an effort to... There's that Pisco Demon coming. Alright, there we go. Got the thing. Um, yeah, they're, like, removing basically all OGL-related things, so, like, monsters from um, that. But now that I think about it, the Pisco Daemon is not an OGL creature. It's not covered by that license because it, um, it, it, it's not in the base monster manual of 3rd edition Dungeons & Dragons. So, don't actually know how that works then, now that I think about it. Not sure. Seen something this good in a while. Were they allowed to have Pisco Demons in the first place, Pathfinder? But yeah, I don't know, like, is that monster gonna be in there? Hmm. This is super aside from Final Fantasy, I realize, but... Um, and it probably doesn't make a lot of sense unless you know a lot about, like, the tabletop RPG situation, like the rules and everything, but, you know, some trivia here. Yeah, it's super frustrating, the the stuff that Wizards pulled early 2023 in regards to the licensing. Kind of a kind of a mean trick. So I'm I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty on Paizo's you know team here. Like I'm I would like to see them create their own thing, or or you know divorce Pathfinder further from Dungeons and Dragons, which they've been doing fairly consistently so far. But it does mean that some fan favorite stuff is gonna like vanish from it, sadly enough. And some of it will get replaced with some possibly obvious replacements. Like uh, Sky King's Tomb has come out. I've, I'm reading that currently is is the new adventure path, which is like a you know set in the underground, you know the Underdark or its equivalent in Pathfinder. And they. The, Already to like kind of distinguish from Dungeons and Dragons, the um, classic Underdark creatures, the Deep Gnomes and the uh, what is it, the uh, Dark Dwarves, which are known better as Svirfneblin and Duergar, respectively. They've gotten completely new names in um, in Pathfinder. They're now called. Drathnilar and um, Hringar are the new names for the underground uh, gnomes and uh, dwarves. But I have to say, apart from the name change, I didn't notice a ton of differences in their vibes. <laughs> like the Drathnilar are still like pretty neutral, kind of, kind of like isolationist. But you know, oh no, my my brain. But not particularly, you know malevolent uh, creatures, whereas the Hringar are still, like, pretty dark and, you know, obsessed with, like, you know, you know, slavery and, like, dark acts underground. Like, that's that vibe is still there. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how different this new Pathfinder world will be later on. There's that sinking feeling again. Oh, we reached the end, by the looks of it. Yeah, this Stop looks like. Your feet, Jed. What? You're calling me out? That hurts, man. That's kind of funny. I like that. <laughs> oh, here we are then. This is spook times. Ah, pugilist. We got the thief unlocked, but we could work towards. Just gotta get this explosive fist thing. Could to work work towards the monk. So we'll just let all those sit there as we accumulate XP. Gear up. Does this wing edge give an ability? No. 
Suzaku Muramasa still has Rengoku going. Yeah, we didn't change up a ton of gear there. Still got the Dauntless thing going here. Shadow Fang. Pretty cool. Still got the Brave thing going here. Although this Hero's Greatsword looks sick. And we can't see what the other two look like. That's fine. Um, yeah, this definitely looks like we're walking in there. The crystal's right there, so yeah. Ah, too bad about me getting turned around by that one door. Missing the one door in this maze of a reactor. If I only had worked that one out, but yeah. Well, let's see how this boss goes. Um, I don't know. I think this one's got a little boring. This is, this is probably the least interesting of the four fiends. I guess it's not a terrible fiend I, when I think about the originals. So... We'll see how it goes. So, okay, never mind. This version looks awesome. Give us back the crystal. You demand to have the crystal back. I fared well for so long without it. I would you do with it? Guess he's got us there. What would we do? You have come all this way. Yet no not of its This giant hands. Uh, uh, mm. Eon, say something. <laughs> Why Eon? You would bring mayhem to the world. Yeah. Oh! Good good try with that kick there. Time to listen to your nonsense. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. You dare brandish your blade at the Kraken. You forget your place. The Kraken! Yes, the Kraken is the water fiend. It's kind of like this in the games, but I think this is like a million times creepier than... Oh, oh. The, the, the Kraken in, um... In, 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 uh... In, 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 uh, the original Final Fantasies. So I dig this quite a bit. Better tread carefully. Oh, boy, is... Honestly... This laboratory at this crazy tentacle design. More I feel like we're having a Resident Evil monster fight here rather than a rather than a, you know Final Fantasy one. This thing is sick. Oh, oh my god, those combos. Who done? That didn't do much. Oh god, you're not gonna crush. Oh my god, that set off a chain reaction if I've seen one. Yeah. Whew. Also, sturdy son of a gun. Not really got any work done, but okay. Alright, suddenly we got a lot of work done. Never mind. Come on, Kraken. What's Kraken, buddy? Oh, cut all of them! That's awesome. <laughs> this is a freaking pile of them. Now, what are you gonna do, buddy? Oh, going for a swim. Oh, ominous. There you are. Tsunami. Cool moves. Nova Splash. Oh. Oh my god, getting a little Toho here. Oh, I actually completely avoided that one. I don't want to get squished, buddy. Rengoku! What? No, I wanted to... I can't throw my sword. Ugh. Yeah, I'm all out of heals. I know, I know, I know. What the? Completely mistimed that one. Wow. I was doing pretty good there, but I don't know. Something about that combo, I like completely mistimed the soul blocks. I wonder if regular blocking might be the smart move in that fight. Maybe? Oh. Oh, right, tips for fighting. Kraken's attacks with his severed tentacles may have a short reach, but they also fire bursts of water. Be careful not to end up inflicted with vulnerability. 
When Kraken dives underwater, it's a sign that he's about to unleash Tsunami, a powerful unblockable attack. Following on the tail of this wave of liquid will be Kraken, wreathed in water and ready to hit you until you're vulnerable to his attacks. It's a deadly one too, so make sure not to let your guard down. Breaking the nearby machinery when Kraken dives will electrify the water, doing massive damage to your foe while simultaneously preventing him from using his Tsunami against you. Oh! Well, I'm kind of sad that they spoiled that much. I think that was giving away a little too much, because that's really clever. Like, an environmental thing to deal with him. But I wish they didn't tell you that. That Leave that to be worked out for yourself, you know? Anyway, let's f for phase one is... Stay on your toes as you move towards Kraken, as its long grasping arms will lash out at you on the approach. Lightning is his weakness, so prepare to get electric while avoiding his inky envy and resentful embrace attacks. Kraken's resentful embrace is a troublesome ability that can steal your buffs, but you can prevent him from using it by destroying his head tentacles. Lastly, ready yourself when he dashes to the water, for that means he's about to suck up an aqueous blast and unleash at you with his deadly water laser attack. Huh, okay. Uh, we were kind of at the end of the episode, but since we're here, let's see if I could take this guy, because I was doing pretty good that fight. Oh. Okay, immediately almost died. Oh, here comes that water laser. Oh, that's, he really is sucking up water from the... It's kind of funny. Oh my god. Oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, that was the wrong button. Oh boy, I'm low on health. One more. There we go. Got him before he span. Oh no, splorch. You don't need those, buddy. All right, so I guess... Now we let him go in the water, but then I guess we can really do this. Yeah, I wish yeah, that that made this so much easier. I see because the... I see because the tentacles are severed, he starts shoot. That's when he starts shooting those water blips when he does the spin, rather than the nasty old spinner roomy. Ow, that backslash. Oh my god, that combo goes on for a while. Ooh! Oh! Got him down again! Alright, second round went not very gracefully, but it went easy. Oh my god! <laughs> beat down <laughs> that was very funny yeah second time I still felt sloppy but you know but went pretty good all together we walked away from it just fine <laughs> the darkness as such you should touch it as much as possible <laughs> what your personal memories will be stored in that device, too. There is much to be gained from memories of your experiences. If you fail to do so, you run the risk of forgetting when you transfer. I don't care. It's not worth remembering. Damn. Don't say that. You are nothing if not the sum of your memories. <sighs> Okie doke. Jack. <gasps> what? What? Oh, another one of these. It's not <laughs> Sophia, but somebody else. Well, no time to find out who that is because we have to go now. <clears throat> we're about to get splooshed in this underwater reactor. <laughs> Oh, okay, the music cut out, or, or sound effect cut out really weirdly there for a second. I was worried something might crash. Yeah. Ooh, I should probably do that more often. Try to do that parry right there that they mentioned. <laughs> so many options I'm not using. 
Well, here we are again. The asteroid base. It's done. It's over, right? Right. The currents are moving. So that means the sea's back to normal. And chaos is dead! So now what? Beats me. Should be clear sailing ahead. <laughs> we tore the roots of evil out of this world, after all. Something wrong? It's still there. The feeling that chaos is waiting somewhere. Well, that cloak is going a little nuts there. <laughs> that looks very funny. Well, why don't we go back to the castle? We could tell them about the fiends we fought and the crystals we revived, which makes us... Warriors of Light? Yeah, Warriors of Light. Like in the prophecy. Hell yeah. So easy. What a weird vibe moment to end it, right? Oh. I can still feel that sense of purpose driving me. That means there's still an enemy to fight. Or maybe it just means we still have a job to do. Hmm. Ominous. <sighs> I am satisfied with a job well done, regardless of whether that hunger in my heart is sated. Let's report to the king, and then... Hmm. What happens after that, I wonder? Mm, good question. Hey, did I remember to set the... Uh... Auto dismantle on 74. Very good. Yeah. Good question, Sophia. I don't know what we do now. Well, try, I kind of remember what happens in the original at this point. Once all the four fiends are dead, there is in fact a chaos to deal with. But if this, if, if, if the events that happened there now happened here, that's going to make this plot even more convoluted. So, I don't know. Let's head to Carnelia. I'm sure they'll throw a parade in our honor. Jed focusing on what's important here. Hell yeah. I feel you, buddy. There we go. I figured. Figured we might cut to the world map. Oh, those are some cool claws. Alright. Dismantle you. And dismantle you. And dismantle you as well. Ta-da! So dismantled. Main mission, the False Warriors. This mission is now available. And look at this. Everything else is shut off. That's ominous. Also, the mission name was kind of ominous. Just saying. Mm. Let's just have a quick look-see here. Oh, perfect. Got a ton of points in the Pugilist for some reason. My feasts, they are made of steel. Bit more and we'll get Monk, and then something from that, I guess. Nah. And let's change up her. Costumes, just the pants apparently changed there. Sure. Looking sharp, looking sharp. <laughs> that, the, the dark mask is very funny. <laughs> Big dome head. It works, but, you know. This purity attire is interesting with this, like, mask setup. Kind of curious looking. But sure. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Well, um, we stopped the four fiends. Yay! <laughs> Next time we are gonna go to Cornelia and celebrate, and I got a funny feeling... The game isn't quite over yet, so, you know, we're not gonna be just watching post-credits next time. So, um, thank you for coming, and I hope you guys enjoyed the... Bumbling about in the Mako reactor. It was a pretty cool level, but I got really tossed and turned around there at the one point. No. Um, next time, something else wacky will happen, I guess, because this is a pretty damn wacky game. So, look forward to it. Bye!